Daily Broadside, day 522. I have used a chainsaw an inordinate amount of time in my adult life, and uh, I've cut down a lot of trees and limbs and dead and alive, all kinds of things. I gotta tell you, if you've never used a chainsaw, a chainsaw is clearly the most, I mean, it's like using a crocodile as a tool. I mean, it wants to kill you at all times. You know, if you just grabbed a crocodile, let's say a crocodile couldn't bend its body. It was just a stick, you know, it just, it had fused vertebra vertebra vertebrae vertebra you know what i mean a back and uh so the crocodile because as long as you didn't get near the teeth you are fine but if you get near the teeth that crocodile will under no false pretense of uh lying um it doesn't promise you anything it's going to rip your limbs right off your body that's pretty much what a chainsaw is it's just a an orange or white or red uh crocodile i mean it's just, just what it is it's a crocodile it's in fact i think i'd rather get eaten by a crocodile than chewed up by a chainsaw because every time i use one of those things it's like this is where i die you know i'm just gonna embed this thing into my femoral artery but uh but at the same time you can make a hell of a lot of money with a chainsaw very quickly i've got two chainsaws so i've probably got close to a thousand dollars invested in chainsaws and I'm going to tell you what, man, you can just pay for those things in one job. Like, it's crazy how much money. It is, in my opinion and estimation, the one tool that you can buy uh, that will make you more money than anything else. It will also kill you faster than any other tool you own that isn't called a radial saw. <clears throat> but anyway, I say that to say this. Uh, very dangerous. There's a lot of skill involved. You know, the first couple times you get your dang you know bar bound up in a tree and you're all pissed off you can't get it out i mean you learn quickly you know what what and the maintenance on those things is such a pain in the ass i mean you're constantly sharpening teeth because they dull so fast uh don't let that thing bury in the ground for damn sure and uh don't be chewing through nails and metal and stuff because you'll be just you might as well just go buy a new uh chain because uh sharpening that thing is just uh it's fool's gold you know it's a folly. It's a folly thing to do. But I'm not here to talk about chainsaw uh, work and safety. I'm here to talk about the fact that beavers never have trees dropped on them. You know, uh, I've, I was watching a beaver uh, on a video today and I was like, man, I mean, you know, they're, they're impressive. Um, I remember on the golf course I used to play on all, all the time as a kid, they were they got infiltrated with beavers one time and it was just, I'd never seen, you know, I thought I'd seen them on cartoons, you know, but they really do that. I mean, they just turn a damn tree into an eighties tab glass. Remember the commercial where the can just shrinks in? That's basically what it turned into. And, uh, just the fact that their, their teeth go like back in their head. It's pretty impressive, right? Um, <clears throat> by the way, I'm sweating profusely cause I'm burning stuff on my property and, um, it's hot anyway. <clears throat> I say that to say this, the beaver is very, very adept, it appears, at not having the felled tree fall on them. I don't know if there's ever been a case of a beaver uh, having a tree falling on them, because it's very dangerous. I mean, you should always look up at the tree, you should always have an escape route. You should plan on it trying to crush you, because the tree, much like the chainsaw, is much like the crocodile. In crack, in, in crack, in fact, the triumvirate of things that want to kill you in life in order of importance are crocodile, chainsaw, tree. Those three things can end your life so fast and they all want to. They're just all evil. You look at trees, you're like Farrah Fawcett in the Cannonball Run. I just really love the trees and the way the wind blows through them. No, there's killing machines. Trees are killing machines. You look at that tree, you're like, oh, I'll just knock that down. That tree weighs 2,000 pounds. It doesn't look like it, but it weighs 2,000 pounds. I know it's just a sapling that's smaller than your arm, but it weighs 2,000 pounds. And once it crushes your face, you'll be dead. You'll just have just enough pressure on your head just to have that last thought of, that was really dumb. And then my, mind you, like the chainsaw falls and, you know, digs into the back of your calf just for, just for good notice, you know what I mean? But here's the thing, right? Those damn beaver, like how do they know? And they, they just have, must have crazy hearing. They just hear that, that faint crack because they're not using any kind of, you know, tools that, you know, but they're not tying ropes to that thing. They're not having their beaver friends like, hey, tie a rope, put it on the bumper of that uh, 7.3 diesel and drive that way a little bit, get some tautness on the line and give me some of those, uh, give me some of those wedges. I'm going to shove them in here. You know, they're not doing that. They're just chewing around a tree and timber, it doesn't kill the beaver. I don't know how it doesn't kill the beaver 
but it don't kill the beaver. And while we're talking about beavers, if male beavers are ever having beavers, beavers, beavers with a V, uh, or ever hanging around with their friends at the bar, or the barber shop, or the fire station, wherever the hell beavers hang out, you know, in their little, their little coven, 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 whatever. Uh, I wonder if they have nicknames for their girls' vaginas, you know, because that would be kind of funny, you know. <clears throat> anyway, that was that was that was crass. That's all that was was just crass, you know. Um, I messed around with a girl for a while in high school, and she had an older sister who was like college age, and who worked at McDonald's. And she'd been working at McDonald's for a while, like during high school and college and all that stuff. And uh, she had a curio cabinet in her bedroom. I think it was a curio cabinet. Isn't that what, like a glass cabinet with like mirrors on the back that just displays knickknacks? She had one of those. It was probably like four feet tall. And it was nothing but, it was just filled with Happy Meal toys. I always thought that was really weird for someone who was, I mean, she had to be, hell, I was 16. 17 maybe uh yes yeah, I, I was at least 16 because i could drive but uh that girl had to be like drinking age you know and she's collecting mcdonald's things and not only that she's displaying them in a curio cabinet as if all her friends are going to come over and be like "Ooh, this is a nice display of course you got these weirdos that have like rooms dedicated to the legos and star wars and all these action figures and you're like dude like it's cool man like, you can have all that stuff, but your house isn't a museum. Like, we don't want to know you're, like, full-on dork. Just be, like, a partial dork. Put some of that stuff in the attic. Let it, you know, go up in value, and then you can sell it later and put your kids through college. But uh, just to have, like, an entire basement, and I'm talking, like, 800 square feet of just nothing but, like, an entire Lego city. Like, what have you done with your life, man? I mean, that's that's a lot of money. And once you take it out of the box and build the city, it ain't worth nothing. And you can't sell it because... you. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you can sell it. I don't know. You'd have to take it apart and put it in a million pieces. And then a guy just has like a huge, uh, rubber made full of, uh, plastic Legos. I don't get it, man. That damn Lego company must be, that must be one of the pound for pound, most like profitable places on planet earth. You know what I mean? Cause it must cost nothing to make a Lego. You know, once they have them damn molds locked in and whatnot, if y'all, are amused by Jesse Ventura's voice. You need to go find the Will Sasso videos. The guy, the the big heavy guy from, uh, what was it, Mad TV. He does the funny, he's reading like commercials. The Lexus December-a-thon. And he's doing it in, in Jesse Ventura's voice. And it is just uh, delightful. Delightful. And last night, as predicted, uh, not that I predicted it because it was scheduled, uh, we had the debate and I was kind of wrong about Chris Christie. He really took a crap on the stage, just dropped his pants and took a crap. Um, I wish Vermont had had more time to talk cause I liked the constitutional leanings that he was going for. Um, when he started, when he brought out the 10th amendment, started bringing that stuff up, I was like, I hear you, man. Not a lot of people, uh, reference the 10th amendment a lot, but, uh, I get it. I like it. I love constitutional law and that's good stuff. But, uh, Vivek, I like it, man. He uh, swung for the fences and knocked some people out. I like it. I like the fact that those people didn't like him because that tells me that uh, he's an all right dude because he's an outsider and he's not going to be a typical politician. Um, I enjoyed the banter. It just sucked that it was only two two hours long because I could have just kept going. It was fun. Um, I think Nikki Haley was probably in second place, you know, which was which surprised the hell out of me because I didn't expect her to do nothing, but. She uh she she came through. DeSantis didn't lose any ground, but I don't know if he gained any. Mike Pence is just such a he's just he's just dumb. I mean, I there's no way that Mike Pence nor his wife have ever seen him naked. You know what I'm saying? That's just a weird dude, man. Just as, you know, straight and narrow as the world allows a person to be. Straight and narrow. I need to go jump in a lake. I'm melting um, at any rate. It's getting ready to rain. I may just lay in the grass and just let it wash over me. Mm, giddy.